Welcome to our channel. Love and Death proves that great acting can't save mediocre to star power is a dying concept. If you are a connoisseur of true crime oddities, you might well know the story of Love and Death already. If you've watched last year's Jessica Beale series Candy, you'll know it intimately. As ritzy new TIV miniseries imported from HBO Max on Thursday is the second major TIV series to follow the case of Candy Montgomery, a married woman who killed her lover's wife with an axe in the Texan suburbs. Love and Death is led by two heavyweight actors, Elizabeth Olsen, playing the sinister but offbeatly pitiable Candy, and Jesse Plemons as Alan, the man with whom she has an affair. The series comes most alive when Olsen and Plemons are together on screen. Take, for instance, the scene around half an hour into the first episode, when Candy and Alan meet to discuss the prospect of an affair. She has already confessed her attraction to him. It is clearly reciprocated. They discuss the idea with caution, rotely entertaining the notion of swerving an affair altogether. Throughout the scene, Olsen and Plemons are consummately watchable, conveying big and unruly emotions through subtle gestures and micro-expressions. Olsen's stiffly sincere way of talking. The way Plemons' eyes flit around when he's thinking. You could learn a lot about acting from love and death. But that's not enough to save it. In his three-star review, The Independent's Nick Hilton described love and death as being by the numbers and lacking in imagination an apt enough summary of the miniseries' flaws. It's fine and never a chore to watch. But it's forgotten as soon as it's ingested, chucked onto the pile of prestige miniseries that are, well, fine. Nothing more. What's more, love and death is far from alone in this. Even just over the past year or so, there has been a glut of unexceptional miniseries built around brilliant turns from name actors. Amanda Seyfried in the Theranos true crime show The Dropout, Justin Theroux in the Watergate comedy White House Plumbers, Trevant Rhodes in the Mike Tyson bio series Mike. There's a good argument to make that the overall standard of acting on TV has probably never been higher, but it's seldom in service of anything lasting or meaningful. In this instance, it's easy to see why Olsen and Plemons would have signed on to this project. Despite the tawdry true crime undertones, Love and Death is a relatively meaty, adult character piece. They both, especially Olsen, get plenty of screen time. Olsen's involvement comes as the actor shakes off a years-long lockdown in Marvel franchise Purgatory. She is finally making good on the promise of her scintillating 2011 film debut, Martha Marcy May Marlene. Plemons, meanwhile, has proved his mettle ten times over. As a malleable TV character actor in series such as Friday Night Lights, Breaking Bad and Fargo, and as a film actor in everything from dense psychological dramas I'm thinking of ending things. The power of the dog to broad comedies gain night. For him, love and death represents a return to the world of television after a six-year absence. You might expect an air of buzz around a project like this. But no. Thanks you for watching. Stay connected with us for more videos.